people who hate me are mostly people I think that don't like me because you know I'm not like the typical you know what Brazilian Jiu Jitsu is supposed to be, um, and because we're doing something different. Um, you know, we came in and we started leg locking people, and people always hate something that's different. Uh, you know, when, when Eddie Bravo first started coming out with his stuff, everyone hated it because it was different. People just are always skeptical of things that are different and don't like them, and eventually they learn to accept them. My work ethic wasn't where it should have been, and uh, the person who really pushed me to like, you know, up my training schedule was Gary. I wouldn't train on weekends, and then when I got to purple belt, like constant harassment from Gary about like why I'm not like taking all the training sessions. Uh, finally, got me to to go in and train, you know, as much as I should be training, training weekends, doing double sessions a day, uh, and really you know, doing all the sessions that Gary was doing at the time. And then you know, as I started to get you know more you know, established in jiu-jitsu, you know, in the competition scene. Uh, it was more me just wanting to go out and crush everyone. Um, you know, people just talking shit and never believing that I was good. Like I won, you know, a bunch of EBIs, I submitted a bunch of people, and everyone just still not giving me the credit that I felt like I deserved. Um, so, you know, that was a big, big part of it, was just going in and, and crushing all the top level guys because everyone was just like, fuck Gordon, it sucks no matter what I did. Uh, I feel like, uh, you know, it's, it's my home now. I feel like that's where I belong. Um, the biggest stages, there's no, uh, there's no one really doubting me anymore. Which you know, I like people doubt me as well, but it's, it's I feel comfortable in there. I feel like, uh, you know, I'm the guy to beat. So I go in, and you know, everyone's everyone's watching me, and I I like that. I like to I like to impress people. I like to you know draw crowds. I'm not a shy person. I like to, you know, I walk out on stage and I see you know, a thousand, two thousand, three thousand, eight thousand people, and uh, you know I get excited. That excites me. I like to impress people. So. You know, the more buzz I have around me as I go in, it's no new worlds, everyone's there taking pictures, you know, as matches are happening. I, I like that, so um, it's, uh, it's all fun for me. It's funny to me with top level competitors, never complain about anything when the advantages are in their favor. But the second that the advantages are in their opponent's favor, it's the end of the world. That's why I pride myself on just always fighting anyone no matter what the rule set, at any time. People say, I don't do gi, I don't do this, I do that. There hasn't been a single black belt in history that has won successfully, consistently, in more rule sets than I have. People always talk about, you know, they don't want to do EBI rules because, you know, their opponent starts with an advantage, you start to get to start on your back and this and that. It's like, you get to start in the same position as they do. If you look at most Jiu Jitsu matches, it's stall, 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 explosive movement, score a point. When you actually put these guys in static positions and you force them to actually do jujitsu, you actually see how much they actually know. It's usually not that much. People always, you know, make excuses that they don't want, you know, me to have advantages or blah 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 blah. But I, I never have a problem with anyone outweighing me by, you know, 50, 100 pounds, um, having, you know, 10 years more training than me. Um, you know, never an issue for me. I think that having a legacy is the most important thing. I think there's a lot of people that come in and get comfortable with winning a few things. Uh, you know, here and there, you know, they win a world, they win an ADCC, and then they kind of relax. Um, I want to take more of like a George St. Pierre route, where I come in and I dominate the sport for like a decade or more. When I go out, I want there to be no question that I was the greatest of all time.